making her our battle debut. She is in the final round. She's one for one so far. Can she make it two for two? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Amani Muhammad. Her first time in the final, but she has yet to win the championship, so you know she is laser focused on that tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Nancy J. Just begun round number three, our final round of our battle in Toronto. We have our four finalists here, Yana Leitis, Natasha Dushpan, Amani Mohammed, and Nancy Zhang. These guys have fought their way to the top over the course of the night. Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> it's great to be here. Oh, man. So this is going to be a battle of the titans. Uh, Natasha has won many, many times. Uh, Yana has a win underneath her belt as well. This is Nancy's second time in the final. And then we have newcomer uh, Amani. So this is Amani. And looks like she's got quite a lot of paint going down on the canvas already. And starting this only to sketch out uh, with the, what I'm thinking is going to be a sphinx. Because we can see her reference at the bottom of her canvas. You know, the uh, animal paintings are always a uh, crowd-pleasing uh, angle to go with. Absolutely. I feel like there's so much room to play with color when you're working with animals. Fine painting. So I think that we can expect to see that as well. Here we are with Nancy. Again, uh, very sketchy uh, drawing laid out first right off the bat. Lots of movement. This is exciting. Yeah, Nancy is so known for the movement. Oh my gosh, I was just about to say how she was telling us that she was inspired by the live music tonight. And what do we got going on, Tyson? You can see that right in this. Featuring our, one of our live music artists here tonight. We have music by Good PR. I'm wondering whether or not it's going to be our mustachioed uh, musician or... Bearded musician. <laughs> time will tell. <laughs> Only time will tell. Three minutes in. Whoa, look at how much Yana has going on right now. Beautiful. I want to go to there. I know. She's literally three minutes in, and she's already created this otherworldly like quality where you're just like, it feels like a memory already. A little dreamy. Totally dreamy. Totally dreamy. And seeing her layering on some of that uh, white there as well. I think we might potentially see some snow in there. Now this is fun. Look at this one. Oh yeah, and painting right beside, so this is Natasha, and Natasha's painting right beside Amani, so we're- Amazing blue antlers uh, and, and a pink body, pink face. And the way that she is blending with a paper towel right now, wild. Totally. Oh my gosh, wow. look at the connection already. Oh yeah. Dang, Amani. Those eyes are doing a lot. Yeah, and I think it's such a great of the way that the light is playing inside of the eye too. The other nice uh, strategic move there is that, uh, you know, because it's already striking in its minimal components, you know, if she runs out of time, then that won't be a problem. It's already great. Ooh, great point. Very great point. Yeah, it's a, it's a great battle strategy to really create that focus already. And uh, the movement just keeps singing here from Nancy. See it become even more and more human or even more and more abstract as time goes on. We'll see. And the way that she's establishing the light and shadow, like I love that shadow that's playing underneath uh, the chin right now. And is that a mustache that I see? Oh, this is evidence that the portrait unfolding here is in fact of the mustached bassist in the music duo. Yes. All right, Yana uh, continuing to build on this scene and so much has happened since we last saw her. I'm starting to see hints of winter in this painting, and I was thinking that we were in a beautiful spring scene, so. 
We'll see what happens. Yeah, the the way that Yana uh, evolves her paintings is always so interesting. It almost feels like she makes maybe four or five paintings. They're play going on, and the subtle uh, ways that they're blending into each other, it's working for me. It's working for me, too. I'm getting cotton candy, and I love cotton candy. <laughs> it is giving stag cotton candy, for sure. The, uh, I love the way that she only uses the marks that she needs to. Like, it's still very minimal in the way that she's drawing with the paint. Very precise. Extending her arm to be painting. The introduction of pink, yellow, and blue is rocking my socks off right now. Totally. Especially that hit of that cerulean blue on the curve of the jawline underneath the ear. She's doing such a great job suggesting highlight with colors that aren't traditionally highlight colors. Incredible. A little bit psychedelic. Totally psychedelic. The, uh, the play of the purple. I always want to see more blue. I'm totally blue biased. So into this. Check out all the movement happening in the background. Absolutely. It's really contributing to the flow. It's just wild to me that this is an eight minute painting. Like we understand that it's the basis. We know, uh, we understand all of the energy that's little. We have the way that the neck of the base is coming forward, but then these big chips of color uh, that are very squared off brush strokes in the, yeah. in the background. Yeah, chips of color, I like that. Look at the, the way that the brushwork is playing around the face. Yeah. Can't wait to see the next development there. Ooh, Yana. Never disappointed with Loving Yana. these branches. And this big cozy vibe. If it's going to be winter, it's got to be cozy. And the little, the tiny, tiny hit of that square of yellow that she has yeah. in the cabin. The door is open, yeah. waiting for it. That's the cozy. Like, the whole piece is cozy, but if, if you want to choose the exact moment that's setting it off, it's that doorway. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I want to go to there. Absolutely. I totally, I want to go. I've been transported. I would love to be in a room full of these paintings, of Yana's paintings that are this series, and just be like in this little villa or neighborhood. That would be just lovely. Back over to Natasha here, and we're starting to get these hits of more saturated color, and I love the way that she's layering that over top of the colors that are a little bit melody. Mm. Like the regal stag, king of the forest. Naturally. Ooh, that hit of that lime green on yeah. the back. The body is like a spiral. There's sort of a like a like a paisley almost. Yeah, the way that she is expressing the shape of the cat with all of these different forms within it. Can't wait to see where it goes. Ooh, yeah. We're getting uh, the fretboard here with a palette knife. She's, is that, it might actually be a box cutter that she's using right now to kind of sketch this out. For me, this painting still holds a lot of mystery as to what direction it's going to go and how they will bring it to a close at the end of this round. Yeah, like how much... Oh, now we're getting this stunning uh, textural treatment from Yana. She often will paint this way where she executes most of the painting and then the last few minutes are just adding in these like gooey textures. Wow. And a lot more warmth and yeah, just like you said, gooey textures. There they are. It, it makes this beat. Frankly, I want to taste it. I would not advise that. Copy that. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> Just enjoying some pigments in acrylic polymer. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Looks like icing. <laughs> it totally does look like icing. Forbidden icing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really like that little triangle of that washy purple on the shoulder of the stag. Oh, yeah. 
within the animal. You're so right. With every gesture she adds, I find that uh, its personality becomes more evident. I just lost my words for a second because I'm just getting lost into the uh, all the different brush strokes that are happening there. I, f I feel like it's a young buck. It doesn't seem like an old buck. Yeah. He's definitely, like, just right before his prime. He's coming into his potential. Right, right. Finding his way through the woods. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Yes. Getting these uh, highlight hits here of the super peachy. Yes. I like it. And that swoop on the chest there. Oh, yeah. And... Ooh, I was wondering what Nancy was going to do with the face. Oh, yeah, the pigment's getting added in. Oh, I hope she leaves a little bit of that cheek. Whoa. Yeah, nice touch with that eye. It just came to life. Yeah, that was nuts. That's magic. That's yeah. the magic of painting, folks. Yeah, that was crazy. That was maybe one of the best strokes I've ever seen in art battle. Just it was like little dab, but it. Oh, it's so nice to be back here. Our uh, our camera man slash art battle co-founder Simon Plashka really knows how to capture the texture here. He really gets that this is the high point of this piece. Oh uh, yeah, he's capturing the uh, the depth of the the texture. I think. Check out how big that knife is. It's huge. All right, let's see it a little bit back. I okay. can't. Sign of real confidence with the uh, with the tool she's implementing. Yeah, it's just mind-boggling to me the way that Yana paints. Just getting these hits that are just perfectly expressing snow. I think it's going to be a really tough competition, a uh, really, really tough decision for the audience. Voting is now open at artbattle.com slash AB242, the finals. So if you're out there watching online, please make sure that you vote at the link that is on the screen. And Yana's not the only artist who's playing with texture. We're getting these textural elements being added into the background here from Natasha. We have that big swipe of the orange going on. I love the contrast of the, the highlights with the orange uh, on, the, on the sides and the red on the, uh, the white. Oh. Oh. oh, let's go. We're getting these juicy brush strokes, people, in our last three minutes of painting. And Amani doing a, just a stellar job finishing this piece. The, the way that she's balanced the color story here is really interesting. Huge conversation piece wherever it lands. Great opportunity for me to uh, plug the silent auction. All of the works created tonight are up for silent auction at the link that's on the screen here. You don't need to be in the room to collect these works. And these guys are selling for really uh, high amounts out of studios, so it's a great opportunity to collect at an affordable price. Our final two minutes. It's a little bit surreal. It's a little bit... Uh... But it's definitely non-literal, or maybe it is the refractions of light. Who knows? Definitely agree that it brings it into that kind of surreal space. And I feel like it's capturing more that celebration of sound. That's a great way of putting it. Yeah, Nancy's very influenced by the energy in the room and sound in particular. She, I love how abstracted it is, but at the same time, it's so representational. You know exactly what it is. Absolutely. It's a place that I want to be. <laughs> we're, we're coming over, Yana. <laughs> yeah. Wow. second time and they have left no doubt about it all four deserve to be here fantastic job now it's all up to you one hope per person who deserves to be the art battle champion here tonight we have Yana and Natalia there we see there is already been an action on all these paintings the intervention in their mask the auction 
auction for rounds one and two will close right after we announce the winner. Round three will stay open for another five minutes after that. But it won't be very long, so get your bids in there now. And of course, check out all four paintings right now and get your vote in there. You are voting for who is it? so much courage and creativity at the easel and a huge thank you to our incredible team here as well and of course to good pr who supplied us with some absolutely epic tunes tonight a stunning night of live competitive painting for art battle toronto Again, congrats to Yana Leitis moving forward into the Toronto City Finals. And thank you so much, everyone, for joining us on the stream tonight. We appreciate you, and we will be back uh, streaming on Thursday in Minnesota and in New York and Chicago on Friday. So stay tuned to the Art Battle website and our social media.